Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lucky. Welcome back to another episode of OmniFactory. So, in the previous episode we made uh, this system, but I didn't really cover what these do, do. And this is a crafting storage and it's basically a CPU and it allows you to auto-craft stuff. And these are the co-processing units and they allow you to make multiple, multiple things at once. So, for example, you could use the molecular assembler and then the... Uh, other stuff that are here now also i have changed the arrangement so we can now go here without having to go through M M me machines mv machines and so it's much cleaner now that it's all on this side and the power generation system is now here i have nothing i haven't changed it or anything i just moved it and this is a nice thing you can share conduits in a block uh, in today's episode, I want to build three automation circuits for uh, these components. Uh, if you go here, SMD, I want to automate transistors, resistors, and capacitors. So the first thing we'll do is automate capacitors because they're they're the simplest to automate. So I have prepared the machines, and for the capacitors, we need fluid extractor, assembling machine, CEF interface and a cluster mill so cluster mill you don't know what it does it just makes uh, from uh, from sheets of polyethylene it makes them into polyvinyl into make them into um uh, po foils or thin polyvinyl chloride sheets and the way we're going to do this is first place a cef down here yeah let's say here Oh, it can't face up. Can it? Is it is it facing down or is it just facing in a random direction? Yeah, it's facing here. So I guess I have to do this and then fill it with dirt and then bring the cables up. And this is a four times, so it won't burn these four times cables. And for this thing, you only, we only need three. And the assembling machine goes into the middle and I'll put that in last, just because we need to make some adjustments first. The cluster mill will go above and we need to enable auto output to the bottom side. And the fluid extractor will go into the bottom and we need to auto enable that as well. And then the assembling machine will go into the middle. Now we need to place an interface and actually need to grab some cables, not cables, uh, oh I have those. Uh, I need to grab a container, I believe, or a chest in this case. And I can just put a chest in here and just do this auto output and do this and put this here and hopefully it will automatically detect it oh yeah hopefully it will automatically detect it but for us to do that we need to connect it to the system first and hopefully i have enough cables for this so i will bring this through here like this and yep there we go and hopefully we can detect it that it now has a chest here and I believe we can directionalize it what does this do oh okay like this so it will only output in this direction and now what we can do is oh no that's a wrong one now what we can do is delete this first and then go grab some item conduits item conduits there we go and put one here extract insert and for that we're going to need some item filters so item filter not this one okay, let me just search filter and we need this one so hopper and paper so plate okay i need to make iron i need to make 
let's just make just let's just make we need five for one we need two per and we need six of them so 30 and while this is going on its way let's just finish the infrastructure and hopefully it works so if we do the always active here and then like this and we just mine a block here so we can access and uh, always active insert oh so okay so what i'm doing is now here it will put this into a chest and then here it will extract um polyethylene or no polyvinyl chloride and uh aluminium she uh, plates or sheets and here it will just extract polyethylene sheets. So if I go here and grab my... Oh, no, it's here. It's still here. There we go. Oh, I'm missing chests. I have two, only two left, so I have to make more. Okay, so now we can make... What is this even? Let's don't filter. And make some poppers. And then put some paper on them. Paper one two one two one two one two. Okay, so now I have to grab an aluminium plate, which I will automize using the compressor. But for now, I just leave it as it is, like this, and put this back for now. There we go. And we need a polyethylene, or actually we need four, four of these polyvinyl chlorides and one polyethylene. So I'm just going to make the pattern now. So if I go grab a pattern, go to this aluminum plate, polyvinyl chloride and polyethylene. Oh no, and we need to make we have any I wanted to have a stack of SMD capacitors so I will not encode that just yet I will first do this so if I go here and put a filter inside I can put these two items in here and it will only allow those two and down here to break this block again I will only allow the polyethylene like this and if we connect them to power, I'm just going to mine this bit out and connect them through to power through here. So only insert. Oh. So this should be full of power now, and if I put these three inside. As you can see, it works perfectly and it makes us a stack of capacitors and the one thing I forgot is... Hmm, how can I do this? Oh, I have an idea. Hmm. No, I don't actually. So we need to output it to this somehow. And I can do that with a chest unless I use item conduits. So for now I'm just going to use those. Extract always active, insert always active. Or yeah, it's a probably a better approach to just delete this chest. Grab these two first. And then break this chest and put this interface here, uh, where's my pickaxe? Put this interface here. I, I I have no idea how how I can do this, and I can connect this here, extract, insert, and put one of these filters in here. Yep, this one and the other one like this can i no i can't
and this one in here like this and if i i wonder if it will work if i put this put it that way or down let's just put it that no let's just put it in front i want to see, yeah i want to see what happens if i connect this here and we have a stack of snd capacitors so if i go to the parent terminal and encode and go here and i need another thing so i need to compress this and uh, create another pattern clear not 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 24 but just one so in a one-to-one -one ratio to plates, so we can automatically produce aluminum plates, which is kind of quite useful. Okay, since we have two of these, let's just okay. First, we need to get to my Yido wrench and somehow get behind. This is the wire mill, this is the master, this is the compressor, yep. So I have to turn it around. Or do I need a crescent hammer for that? Let me try with this thing. Oh no, I I, I know why it, why I can't do that. It's because I just break this alloy smelter. There we go. Now I have to get this alloy smelter back somehow. Without killing myself. Okay, nice. Chemical reactor here, alloy smelter here, output here. Oh. Auto output this. And then like this. And now I should get, if I craft, let's say, a stack of them. What's going on? Stored, stored, stored. Scheduled. So it looks like it doesn't work because it isn't connected to anything. As you can see, as, as soon as I put it there, it works. So I'm just gonna have to do this one manually. And... Oh! I know, we can just... How do I undirectionalize this? I can't, can I? Okay, so I have to break it. And place it back. It, it won't go into the assembler because it can't. Because it's set to not go into the assembler because it can't get output from input from the output side. So if I go to SMD again. Sixty four. No crafting CPUs are available. Okay, so I have to put it back here. Let's see. Why doesn't it put them through here? Okay, so I guess we'll have to do the... Yeah, I, ha I guess we'll have to do the regular, the old... Um, yeah, I'm just going to prepare some more conduits and... I, I guess we'll need more conduits and I'm going to prepare some more conduits and chest and everything we'll need for the rest of them now, so... And yeah, we need more filters, so I need to make more filters now, so I'm going to...
Okay, so now um, I have connected these and put an output node with SMD capacitors only. And hopefully if I type SMD now, it will allow me to make... Oh yeah, I didn't put the... I forgot to put the... This in here and I have to put a direction. Nope, 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 yes. There we go. So now it should work. But I said that some more time. So to craft 64. I don't understand what's wrong. It should put these items in the chest and then get them off, but what's wrong? Scheduled one, stored. Okay, so aluminium plates aren't working this time. Let's cancel, let's cancel the job. Okay, if I can just TP. We go, cancel, up, craft one aluminium plate. Why isn't it working? Oh, no, what, why? Wait, what? Did I mess it up? Let me see. Creates one aluminium plate with one aluminium ingot. Yeah, and why why aren't you working? Oh. Because I haven't put the screwdriver. And that's why nothing was working. Yeah, there we go. So now that we have a plate, we can go and SMD. Ask for one, it will make 64. Now they should be working. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so huh, it took me like nearly 20 minutes to build one of these. And okay, so now we have to build the other the other two. So let's just get the materials. So the other two will be more complicated. So I'm thinking of, yeah, I, I, I think I will probably, I'll probably leave them for the next video because this is kind of a long one as of itself. There is only one more thing I want to try. And this is, no, it won't work. I don't think. I can try it again. Two. And then if I remove this, remove the chest, put this here, and another cable, and put this here. So hopefully, if I try it now, SMD, just want to make it more compact. No crafting CPUs are available. It didn't detect them all go through. Yeah, let's just cancel once more. Cancel. And let's try again. Uh, SMD. Like that. No, it won't work. So we have established a system that doesn't work and we have established a system that does work. So in the next episode, I'm hoping we can get 
uh, them all set up as this one because when we do that we only need to if I go to refined and when we automize that I we only need to do automize fine TLR wires which won't be a problem central processing unit which won't be a problem and the plastic circuit but will be which will be a bit of a problem but still no problem or we can just make those manually so uh, I have a jump I can jump two blocks high now so this machine let me just fix it because I want to fix it before the video ends not that difficult to fix we just put it this and then coded pattern we, we could probably also use wait let's try and use that one and set up this one not to insert but to prioritize these and insert and prioritize these uh, insert as well and this will be more compact only 2 by 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 2 by 3 2 by 3 by 3 okay so let's test this again SMD on next and it works so I have already compactized it more and um, in the next episode oh ouch in the next episode I hope I can get all of these built as well but until then let's see if it finishes yep it did finish so now we have an automatic SMD capacitor machine and this changed the type Okay, so the this is, if you didn't know, you can just click this and you'll see all the information. We have capacitor bank storage full, 10 million of 10 million. Machine buffers, 33,382,788 out of 33,532,832. Micro infinities, and the, the, those are really slowed down. Probably because everything is full of energy. So yeah, this will be it for today's episode. Hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And I hope to see you in the next episode where I finish these machines. And yeah, hope to see you then.